So friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. In today's video, I will discuss with you one scenario-based question which can be easily asked to you in your Power BI interviews. So let us proceed with the scenario and before that if you are new to the channel then do subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming videos. Okay. So first of all I will walk you through the table that I am using here. So the table that I am using here is this table 6. Okay. It is a very simple and a small data set where I have one customer column, I have one state column and I have population. Okay. So 3 records of Delhi. 2 records of Assam and 3 records of Chennai and their corresponding population number. Okay, So this is our simple table. Now the same I have used it on this table visual. Okay, So I have customer, I have state, I have population. So interviewer can ask you to create a rank on the basis of 2 columns and which 2 columns you have to consider? You have to consider this state column and this population column. Okay, So as you can see here we have 2 records of Assam. And we have their corresponding population 1500 and 2500. So we have to calculate a measure where we have to rank these two records individually like, like we have to consider this state column and population column both at the same time and then calculate the rank right. As you can see here the final rank is 2-1. As you can see now in the Chennai example we have three records of Chennai 700, 4500, 5000. So the rank is 3-2-1 right because 5000 in is the highest one. Similarly for Delhi. So if you are knowing the answer of this scenario, then hopefully you will be able to answer it, the scenario which will be given to you in your interview, in your interviews. Okay. So first of all, I will remove this rank test measure and we will start creating it from the scratch. So I will name it as rank. Okay. Rank equal to. Okay. So first of all, I will make use of max function here. Okay. So I will make use of max function here. And I will make use of state column. Okay, so here is my state column. I'll make use of this, and let us see what does it gives. So if I pull it on our table, let us see what does this rank measure gives. So as you can see here, this rank measure is giving me Assam, Assam for the first two records, then Chennai, 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 and then Delhi, and Delhi, and Delhi. Okay, so whatever is the state name, it is giving the exact name in the in this rank measure. Okay, so this max function is giving me the same result. Okay, now let us modify this measure further. So for that, I will make use of variables here. Okay, so I will put this under a variable here. Variable max underscore state. Okay, under this I will create another variable. Okay, that will be our uh, final rank. Okay. So since we have to create the rank, so which function we will use? We will make use of rank x function. Okay. So many a times you would have been asked this question about how to create a rank on the basis of uh, some sales or some uh, revenue, something like this. So that is much easy, right? Because we just have to make use of rank x directly and we will get the we will get the desired ranking. But here, since we have to create the measure on the basis of multiple columns, for example, here we have, we have to make use of state column and population column. So here comes the confusion. So for that only I have created this video and hopefully after watching this video, you will be able to answer it in front of the interviewer. Okay. So under ranking function, I will first make use of filter function here. Okay. So filter function. Filter function why I am using because I have to filter out individual states. I have to group uh, individual states, right? So for that I have used filter function here. Okay. And under filter function, uh, I will use all function here. All function is just to remove the existing filters. So under that I will make use of our table that we are considering here that is table 6. Okay. So I will choose table 6 here. Now close the bracket for all. Now the expression filter expression for filter function that we have used here so, so what will be that it will be state column that is our state column is equal to this max state that we have already created okay this max state variable that we have already created so this is the filter expression of the filter function okay now close the bracket for filter okay now uh, the expression part of rank x that will be our total population that I have already created that is sum of simply the sum of population. So I will directly make use of total population here. So this is my total population. 
Now after that, skip the third argument and then choose uh, descending order and then uh, dense. Now close the bracket of uh, rank x function. So this is our complete rank x. Now I have to return final rank here. Final rank. Okay. Let us see what does this uh, measure gives us. So as you can see here, for the first two results, we are getting the desired results. 2, 1. Similarly for Chennai, 3, 2, 1. Similarly for Delhi, 3, 1. So on the basis of state column and population column, we have ranked it and we are able to do it with the help of this measure as you can see here on the screen. Okay. I hope uh, this measure is clear to you and hopefully you will be able to answer it in front of the interviewer if the same kind of situation is given to you. Okay. So do like the video if they like the content and stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Thank you.